Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Now, if I'm placed in a small group to talk to anybody, I could do so freely, express myself and feel completely comfortable. But if I'm supposed to go in front of an audience and present a speech, then that's where it all begins. I become nervous, cold sweats begin to wash me, stutter, and I even start to shake. Now, upon entering this class, my goal was to learn how to become a better public speaker. So, I will be looking at the speeches that I have done throughout this class and see my weaknesses, my strengths, and what I can do in order to become a better public speaker. Now, for my first speech, which was the impromptu speech, that speech was completely by surprise. I was supposed to give a tribute to a friend who was getting married, but based on the evaluation, I think I did pretty well. I had eye contact with all the audience, and I had eye contact with the audience. I was able to express myself. I was clear with my information. However, I fell down by stuttering a little, and I was so nervous. I don't think anybody else knew that I was nervous, but I was. Now, for the informative speech, some of my strengths and weaknesses were, my weaknesses were in the introduction. I could try to capture the interest of the audience a little better, relate the topic more to my audience, and I need to work on making clear the central idea or specific purpose and preview my speech. My strengths were, however, in the body, where I was clear and easy to follow. I knew my information. I was thought-provoking and supporting details related to the central idea, and I was stimulating. However, I also fell down in, by not using visual aids and transition between my main points. In my persuasive speech, yes, there was still some weakness in my introduction, but I improved in capturing my audience's interest. However, I could work on focus and enforce the direction of my speech, and I did connect with my audience. In my delivery, that was where I had my strengths as well, except for my vocal expressions, which dropped. And my, my not using my visual aids again. Some of the steps that could be taken in order to be a better public speaker in the future are to be more time realistic, have a more focus of direction of speech, have more vocal variety and enthusiasm, use the visual aids, and to work on my transitions. According to our textbook, Communication in Our Lives by Julia T. Woods. I could enhance my speeches or do better in my public speeches by enhancing effective in my verbal communication, communication by engaging in dual perspective. Take into consideration my listeners' views of plan and planning when I'm planning and presenting my speeches. And finally, I would like to thank my teacher, Ms. Ralna Simmons, for guiding me throughout this course and helping me to learn how to become a better public speaker in the future. Thank you.